Should you invest in the companies that I make videos about? Absolutely not. So you might ask, what is then the point of this video? If you've ever watched any of my should you invest in videos, you know that I never give an actual answer. And that's because the decision to invest in the companies that I talk about ultimately is your decision alone. The point of the videos is to show you how to look at all of the fundamental analysis that I consider when I make a decision whether to invest in a company or not. So first things first, I'm gonna show you where you can get the free template that I created. And yes, it's totally free. I'm so sick and tired of this shit. When you come on this app and some finance bro says, oh, go get my free template. And you go on their website and ah, it's a sales funnel. They try to get your email so they can send you an email about their course or their ebook or their other templates that are for sale. I'm over that shit. There's none of that on my website. No template, sign up, no email, no PayPal or Patreon, no Venmo, none of that. Let me show you where to get it. This right here is where you're going to go and you're gonna click on the menu, which is right here and you're gonna find a couple of templates. One compares ETFs, the other compares stocks and the other is a free resource guide that is yes, totally free. Look at all of the links that are on here for you to do your own research. But today we're gonna to look at the stock fight template and you can find it right here. So you can actually click and fill in this whole template and if you're saying, well, I don't know how to do that. Where do I find it? There's a link right here and there's a longer YouTube video right here. So you know how to do your own research. The first one on the list from January of 2023 was Palantir at $7.38. Let's see where it is today. Palantir is $22.85. That is a jump of over 200%. Up next is SoFi, also covered in February of 2023, and it was $7.29 per share. Let's see where it is today. $7.56, that's like a 3% move, not very much. Also covered in February of 2023 was Funko, which was $11.30. Now I remember in the video probably saying something along the lines of, this one's a little bit more speculative or high risk. Let's see where Funko is today. Remember, it was $11.30. Today, Funko is $5.83. That is down 49%. They can't all be winners. In January of 2023, we looked at five below, which was trading at 174. Let's see where it is today. It is 161. It's down yeah, somewhere around 8%. In October of 2023, we looked at Disney. It was $97 per share at the time. 117, that is a jump of around 20%. In October of 2022, we talked about Coca-Cola, which was $55 a share. They are now $59. That's around a 7% move. But remember, you're investing in a company like Coca-Cola for their dividend. We talked about Meta in October of 2022. Meta, Facebook, was $133 a share. Wait till you see where they are today. $520 a share. That is a gain of almost 300%. Meta up almost 300% since I first talked about it in October of 2022. Whoa. Next one is AMD, which was also covered in October of 2022, and it was $68 a share. AMD is 169. That is a 145% gain. In October also of 2022, I was making a lot of these videos in October. In October of 2022, Carnival Cruise Lines was $7.03. Today, Carnival Cruise Lines is almost $15. That is a gain of 114%. The very last one that we're gonna look at today, I can make more of these videos, by the way, if you're interested, just let me know in the comments below. Also in October of 2022, I had a pattern back then, was Shopify, $26 a share. Today, well, go look. Shopify is almost $72 per share. That is a 176% gain since I first talked about it. Now, I know that a lot of the larger finance content creators on this app say individual stocks take on too much risk. I think that's bullshit. I like individual stocks as a part of my diversified portfolio, which, yes, does include index funds like S&P 500 dividends and tech. Individual stocks, if you know what you're doing and you know how to spend the time researching these stocks and you have a plan, can significantly outperform the markets. Look at some of these things. Palantir up 203% in just what? In just a year. In just a year. Whereas an S&P 500 index fund is up 170% in the last decade. And yes, we can, we can show losers too. We had Funko. We had five below on the list. Both down a lot. Funko down 49%. Five below down 8%.
the end of the day, investing is personal and you as an investor have to do what's right for you. What makes you comfortable with your hard earned money? If the answer is, I don't want to go through all the work picking individual stocks, then that is absolutely your right to do that. ETFs are a great alternative. If you are the type of investor like me who likes getting into the numbers and looking at these things and using templates like the one I designed for free for you, then you can add additional stocks if you so choose. All right, smash that follow. See you later.